My lord, Morphoecus, I'm recruiting the Empire's most powerful warriors for the final push in the war. We call it Operation Dark Ice. Your reputation precedes you. Do we have your support? What is Operation Dark Ice? I'm sending the coordinates for the planet Ilum. It used to be a frozen wasteland only a few Jedi bothered with. But a few weeks ago, Imperial scientists discovered a way to turn Adegan lightsaber crystals into the most significant breakthrough in military technology since the hyperdrive. And what exactly does this have to do with Ilum? Ilum has the biggest supply of Adegan lightsaber crystals in the galaxy, and our scientists have been most successful with Ilum's crystals. The Empire won on Corellia, but it was costly. We're outnumbered. We need the technological edge. We need Ilum's crystals. <laughs> but as usual, the Republic's intent on interfering. So you need me to crack some skulls while you handle the boring stuff? You could say that. Ilum's a nasty place. Cold as hoth, covered in ice and mountainous terrain. Makes moving large armies impossible. I hope to see you soon. <laughs> I see three floors, Major. You split your forces, you're vulnerable in the air, and you take our enemy for idiots. You think that Jedi isn't expecting this? Out! Yes, sir. My lord, thank you for coming. If it weren't for the Sith, the Empire would collapse all around us. This chatter's all well and good, but you still haven't told me what I'm doing here. Adegan crystals. Imperial scientists can now transform these glitzy bits of rock into the most powerful stealth technology in the galaxy. We want every ship in the Imperial Armada fitted with this tech. An unstoppable stealth armada. I take it you've run into trouble, or you wouldn't have called me. To succeed, we need two things. To control Ilum's crystal supply, and to bring our fleet safely to Ilum for modification. Ilum's no place for a war. Narrow passages, sharp jutting rocks, and the coldest wind you ever felt. But that Republic Admiral wants a war. He sent Jedi Master Jeric Caden to lead the Republic's elite alien armies on the ground. Caden's pinned us in. Why must the Jedi always interfere? The Jedi think of Ilum as their planet. Only two of them were here when we arrived, but they have ruins scattered around the place. The ruins housing Master Caden's base are too small for anything but a strike team and they're surrounded by cliffs full of Duras shock troopers. It sounds like this Jedi is defenseless without his shock troopers. No Jedi is really defenseless, but the shock troopers are key. Our only chance is to lure the Duras shock troopers into the open where they're vulnerable. I've established fake supply depots between here and the ruins. Master Caden is over-aggressive. He's already mobilized the shock troopers to capture the depots Clean out the Duros at the supply depots, and then assault the ruins base. Is there trouble, Master Caden? No, Admiral. My guests have simply arrived sooner than expected. Rest assured, this war can only end one way. The Empire demands your termination. I'll show the Empire what it can do with its demands. Troopers, join me for the Republic! This is a military matter, Malgus. You appeal to the Dark Council for help. Here I am. Master Caden is dead. See, Malgus, we have everything under control. Members of the Dark Council are not convinced. 
Dark Malgus. I'll just be observing for the time being. Observing, hmm? Before his death, Master Caden ordered an army of Kalish mercenaries to take our only functioning crystal mine. We need the crystals. We need that mine. I want the Republic's Kalish army destroyed. Show the galaxy the price of allying with the Republic. When I'm done with the Kalish, no one, alien or human, will dare ally with the Republic. You know the mission. The victory on Corellia cost us nearly a tenth of our forces. That's hardly a rate of attrition we can support, is it? Does this have something to do with the mission, Malgus? The Kalish are warlike, ritualistic people. In my brief time on Kali, I observed the ritual by which they chose their war leader. Challenge their general. Win their respect, and they will defend that mine to the death. For the Empire. Aliens! You want us to recruit aliens? It sounds like we could use some allies. I'm in charge of this operation, not Malgus. The mine is at the end of a crystal cave, with several Republic outposts guarding it. Sure, challenge the Kalish General, then bring me his head. Darth Malgus's plan makes more sense. I will not trust the Empire to mercenary freaks. If we don't bolster our forces, there will be no future for the Empire. Go to the mine, gather the weapons of the Kalish warriors, and plant them in the ice to initiate the right of challenge. Huh? I am war leader Gelrix. Who challenges me? I am a servant of the Emperor. Your titles mean nothing to me. What do you want with the people of Kali? The Empire wants you to join them and fight for them. You have defeated my warriors. You are strong. You have issued the challenge. You are knowledgeable. But the Republic pays us well and offers us a place among their people. The Empire are better warriors than the Republic will ever be. If it's so, then prove it. The challenge must be honored. I bow to you, war leader of the Kalish. This army is the Empire's to command. Are you deliberately trying to provoke me? I'm doing what I was sent to do. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have other matters to attend to. And you? I did not request your help so that you could bring aliens into the Empire. Speak to me again in that tone. <coughs> I'm sorry, my lord. The mine's been reclaimed. We can resume our crystal operations. Our best recon teams are scouting the Republic base for an attack. But in the meantime, we need to prepare for the arrival of the prototype fleet. What exactly will this mission entail? We need the fleet in place on the surface. Everything we need to build the Stealth Armada is on that fleet. But the Republic's anti-aircraft artillery installation controls the skies. Anything that flies too low gets shot down. The Republic's artillery base is protected by a ray shield and the Republic's best alien forces. Delta Squad will disable the ray shield while you storm the base and destroy the guns. Who are Delta Squad? And why haven't I heard of them? The exploits were usually of the Black Ops variety. If you'd heard of them, they wouldn't be half as good. Get into position at the comm relay just outside the artillery base. Contact Delta Squad when you're ready, and they'll bring the ray shield down. After that, it's up to you. Destroy those guns and get out of there. Alive. It was a trap. The Republic were waiting for us at the shield generators. We're under heavy fire. I don't know how long we can... Did you hear that? Somebody's played us for fools. The Republic artillery base is protected by a huge ray shield. We can't destroy the anti-air guns until that ray shield is down. Looks like you have a new mission. Destroy the shield generators, and then attack the Republic artillery base and take out the guns. The Empire might save itself the expense of an army and just hire me next time. 
We don't have time to scramble another squad to the generators. Remember, you won't be able to reach the Republic's artillery until the ray shield is down. Take out the shield generators and then destroy the guns. Contact me at the Republic base once both the shield generators and the guns are destroyed. My men will move in and clean up. The guns are destroyed. We're slicing the Republic's computers now. Let's see what they're doing out there in the cold. Ah, Master Caden's killer. He was a good man and will be sorely missed. But killing one great man is never enough. The Republic has always thrived on the effort of its united citizens. Lieutenant, input the coordinates of the Imperial base into the ELX-25 and fire when ready. Give my regards to Moff Regis. Blast! The ELX-25 was only supposed to be in planning stages. If it's operational, it could obliterate our base with a single shot. You reek of fear. We have to improvise, based on estimates of the ELX-25's range and the origin of the Admiral's transmission. It should be at these coordinates. We have limited time, and you're closest. Destroy that weapon. That sounds an awful lot, like an order. I'm sorry, I don't have time for formalities. We have to stop the Republic attack. Destroy the ELX-25, or we'll have no choice but to retreat from Ilum. How did the Republic learn of our plans? All the more reason the Empire needs to reimagine itself for the changing times. Once we build a stealth armada, we won't need change. It's going to take superior technology and superior numbers to defeat the Republic. The Republic's base is built into a cliffside. The main fleet is going to batter the exposed side to oblivion. The objective is to claim the Republic crystal supplies, kill Admiral Shai, and open the docking bay door so Imperial forces can clean up. You'll be entering through this tunnel and hitting deep within the mountain where the fleet can't reach. And while you and the main fleet give the Republic a beating, I'll prep the crystal fleet for the transfer of the Republic's crystals. A two-pronged attack. Are you on board? As long as I get to shed some blood. I don't care what you do, or how you do it. So long as we force the Republic off Ilum. Then let's start the attack. Good luck. I hope you understand the futility of all of this. You claim the crystals for the Empire. They build their armada. We will find a way to detect it, to destroy it. And then, the Empire will build something bigger and better, on and on and on, until we destroy each other or the galaxy. I think the Empire will win long before it comes to that. The Republic will never stop opposing you. Failing to understand that will be your downfall. <laughs> Suppose you think that if you just kill me, this will all be over. What did I tell you about destroying great men? The Empire will fail because it insists on being a set of individuals rather than a true citizenship. Because it insists on pushing everyone else to the margins. We pull the weak up and become stronger as a result. Your life is about to end. <laughs> I don't care what you have to do, Major. Find Malgus and find that fleet. Let me guess. 
Malgus has taken the Crystal Fleet. You can never trust the principled ones. Grand Moff, it's Malgus on the Hollow Knight. This better be good. Fellow Sith, citizens of the Empire, too long the strength of the Empire has been beholden to the infighting of the Dark Council and the disappearance of an apathetic Emperor. Sith, children of Sith and warriors everywhere, I declare a new Empire, open to all who long for conquest, freedom from inhibition, and the right to follow their passions. What does he think he's doing? The Dark Council is dissolved. Those who would join Darth Seraphin in supporting me, cast aside your titles, and let me lead you to victory. Those who will not, prepare to face our stealth armada. The Emperor is gone. His station and power are mine. We will conquer the galaxy while the Emperor sleeps. What happened to the Emperor? The Jedi staged a massive assault and the Emperor went silent. That is all I know. If Malgus is able to construct the Stealth Armada, he'll be unstoppable. I know I've asked too much of you already, but this new Empire can't succeed. I need your help to stop Darth Malgus. I don't like being betrayed. Doing the Dark Council's work, he said. I will convene an emergency war council. Take this time to prepare for battle, then meet me in my bunker. Darth Malgus will not survive this day. I will be there soon. Should have murdered the traitor when we had the chance. Ah, my lord. You've worked alongside Malgus the Betrayer. Did you sense any signs of weakness? Someone put Malgus in that mechanical mask. Once he rears his head, we'll break the rest of him. I wasted years serving Malgus. He even asked me to join his treason. Of course I refused, but I should have spit in his face. A true Imperial would have slain the traitor where he stood. Regardless, the treacherous dog has stolen our Emperor's cloaked space station and fled into open space. Grand Moth, Darth Malgus's forces are invading the planet. His ships came out of nowhere and troops are flooding out. Alert the army. Call for reinforcements. That gutless scum won't embarrass the Empire again. If Malgus thinks he can pluck Ilum from the Empire's grasp, he's gravely mistaken. The traitor had no choice. He needs Ilum's Adegan crystals to supply his stealth armada. We can turn this in our favor. A command fighter from Malgus's invading fleet should have his station's coordinates on its nav computer. Finally, the traitor slips up. Steal one of his ships, and you can fly it straight back to Malgus's hidden space station. Find me a pilot, and I'll secure that ship. I would be proud to fly you into battle against the Betrayer. The time for action is now. Then it's settled. General Hesker will help you seize the stealth fighter and fly you to Malgus's station. I will prepare my ship at once. Hesker will drop you on the front lines. You must tear through the Betrayer's army to steal a ship from Malgus's fort. Lead the Empire's defense, my lord, and if you find the leader of this invasion, destroy him. The Empire is a symbol of strength, respect, and purity. Darth Malgus mustn't corrupt that. Give the word, and we'll rain fire on the traitor's invading army. I want to be absolutely clear on our plan to secure the stealth fighter. The ships are secured within Fort Barrow, Malgus's shielded base. Your only way in is through the traitor's army. Once we're over the battlefield, I'll drop you in the trenches. After that, I will provide air support. Now, to battle. Malgus the Betrayer will fear the Empire again.
foresaw your arrival, my lord. Welcome. Ilum is stained with Imperial blood. As we speak, your army falls to the superior strength of Malgus's force. I'm afraid I was forced to swat down your attack squadron. Troublesome brats had the gall to bomb my base. I hope they weren't friends of yours. Aside from a traitor to the Empire, who are you? I am Darth Saravan, right hand to Emperor Malgus, emissary and friend to the Foss. She seeks your stealth fighter. Thank you, my dear. Tal Sako is a Voss mystic. Soon she will experience a vision of Voss prosperity under Emperor Malgus. Then all Voss will join us. Your precious mystic won't have any visions if I cut her down. Raise your hand against a Voss mystic, and their people will turn against your empire, sealing its demise. I will survive to watch this battle. I will bow to the victor. In that case, I will fulfill your vision for the glory of the new Empire. Darth Serebin was a false friend. Now he is gone. I wish it had been you. This is Hesker. Repeat, this is General Hesker. Do you read me? There was no way Serebin could destroy the Imperial Guard's best pilot. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Inform the Grand Moth that Darth Serevin is dead, and his stealth ship now belongs to the Empire. Excellent. Imperial forces are busy securing the fort, and we found survivors. Shall I dispose of them? Spare us, and my people join the Empire. Leave no survivors, Hesker. Anyone who supports Malgus must die for their treason. I'm afraid that includes you. No! A just end for the traitors. Grand Moff Regus already plots our next assault. Secure the stealth fighter, and prepare to slay the false emperor. Welcome back, my lord. General Hesker spoke highly of your performance. The traitor Seravin deserved his death. The Voss made him weak. Thanks to you, we've secured his stealth fighter, complete with coordinates to Malgus's cloaked station. General Hesker is prepping it for your final assault. I have yet to meet a challenge I can't conquer. Of that there is no doubt, but I'm afraid we have little time to celebrate. Moments after Darth Serevan's defeat, we received this message from the betrayer. Congratulations, Regus. Your servant has won Ilum, but victory still eludes you. I have harnessed the Foundry's power. Once its droids assemble my stealth armada, I will crush what remains of your empire with one blow. Bothanir and I claim the Foundry for the Empire. Now the traitor's using it against us. It's time we pay back Malgus's deception. The stealth ship you seized is ready. We fitted it with a homing beacon. Our fleet will track your vessel as General Hesker flies you to the Betrayer Station. Once you're safely inside, we will attack. Destroying Darth Barris has prepared you for this moment, my lord. Do not fail the Empire now. It's a relief to see you again, my lord. I took the stealth fighter for a test flight, performed a full systems test. We can leave for Malgus's station on your mark. Agony won't begin to describe Malgus's punishment for stealing the Emperor's throne. I'm sure you'll end his reign appropriately, my lord. Now steal yourself. Time we destroy a false emperor. Enjoy this, my lord. Such a power. With one move, and our 
flux planets fire and an Imperial capital ship is disintegrated. The Sism Collective has crafted this battle station into the galaxy's greatest technological marvel that even your entire fleet can take us down. The Imperial fleet will crush this battle station. But first, your throat. <laughs> Interjection. Silence me, bags. Do not move, Sith. Your force cannot corrupt my targeting data. The first shot will immobilize you. The second will spill your slippery components onto the floor. I should have known Malgus would rebuild you after I destroyed you in the foundry. Bitter recollection. A fault in my assassination protocol allowed your victory. My upgrades will prevent the error from repeating. Weapons activated. Assassination protocol engaged? I have been looking forward to this. Guards! Reinforcements! Somebody help! Oh. Please, those things I said in HK was all a misunderstanding. Just let me live. You are an ally to Malgus the Betrayer and a traitor to the Empire. She's coming for you, Emperor Malgus! She's... <laughs> Thank you for the warning, Arcus World. Don't keep me waiting, Sith. The Emperor's Wrath. Fitting that we meet within his chambers. He was kind enough to keep his throne warm for me. Welcome to my throne room. So much history. So many glory days that slipped away from us. The Emperor is dead. Long live the new Emperor. I respect your perseverance, Malgus. But not your claim to power. You're not as foolish as you look. The Empire is withering away. Soon it will be obliterated by decadence and antiquated ideals. Yet still you struggle to keep it from healing, don't you see? Our survival demands a new empire, tempered by alien alliances and strengthened by tolerance. I've seen the empire's weakness. We must change to survive, but you're going about it the wrong way. You are perceptive, but still you have much to learn. Emergency warning. Power core override engaged. Self-destruct initiated. You must be desperate to sacrifice your entire station. This palace is a monument to the old Empire's failures. Its sacrifice was inevitable. The blast will wipe out your fleet, and only I can deactivate the destruction cycle. Die, or defeat me. Either way, the Empire is reborn. My lord, we are honored. Our council is most impressed with your performance. Malgus the Betrayer is dead. You have destroyed the False Emperor. General Hesker provided invaluable support in the fight against Malgus. You humble me, my lord. General Hesker, your service to the Empire is flawless, as always. What news from the battlefield? Our fleet suffered casualties, but the survivors escaped the station's blast. The Reclamation Service already scars the wreckage. Excellent. Contrary to Malgus's claims, the Empire is stronger than ever. Meanwhile, a traitor's flock is abandoning the flaming ruins of his heretical revolution. Malgus's destroyed station will serve as a warning to all who entertain rebellion. 
Even the Republic will fear the assassins of Malgus the Betrayer. We were in a grave place. Intelligence disbanded, much of the Dark Council slain, and the children of the Emperor defeated. But a new age is upon us. Already our strength rallies after the fall of Darth Malgus. The Empire's power is surging, my lord. For the Sith and all our citizens, we will rule the galaxy once more. 